Hey there and welcome to Autumn Afar and welcome back to those of you who have joined me before. As always, any of the links that I've used for this video are going to be in the description box below. This video is going to be a little bit different than every other video I've done so far because this is going to be my first product review. I'm really excited to do this, but before I get started, I want to let you know that I am not in any way sponsored by this company. This is a genuine review of a product I actually use and purchased with my own money. And so with that, the first review is going to be for my Evolve Travel Goods towel. So I'm not someone who needs to have the newest cutting edge stuff on a regular basis. But when I saw this towel being advertised as part of a Kickstarter campaign on my Facebook, I was really interested immediately and I decided to join the Kickstarter. So according to their own website, the Evolve Adventure Towel is made of 20 recycled plastic water bottles and it boasts that it's lightweight, quick drying, sand repellent, and has antimicrobial properties. This is the first Kickstarter I've ever backed. So how did this towel measure up to its competition and how did things go as far as the claims are concerned? So here's a breakdown by each claim made. The first claim is that the towel is lightweight. This towel is definitely lightweight. Is it the lightest weight towel I've ever had? No. The towel that I did have and ended up losing when I left it at a hostel somewhere in New Zealand was a lot lighter, but it also didn't necessarily do all the same things. It was also much smaller than this current towel, so by comparison, this towel is still really light. It also comes with this really cute bag and it does take a little bit of convincing to get it out. It is pretty tight, but that just might be the way I rolled it. So. This towel is quite quick drying, especially when you follow the directions properly. Even during the cold Canadian winters, I was able to hang up my towel in a well-ventilated area and it dried in a little under two hours. And that was just hanging up here in my bedroom, not near a heat source, but it also wasn't out in the sun the way they may have tested their own towels, especially if you're going to be using this for a beach based on the fact that it took around two hours to dry here in the middle of the winter just hanging up inside it would probably take around 30 minutes or so to dry outside on a beach or on a patio in the middle of the summer so what i call this quick drying definitely sand repellent as a canadian isn't necessarily something that i would think of right away especially being from montreal and not having access to a ton of sand beaches being from the east coast but not being on the coast i don't actually have a ton of sand beaches and if they are usually they're not the same type of sand that people might think of it's usually pretty coarse and not exactly a lot of fun to be at at least in my experience as a kid we would usually be jumping off of docks and leaving our towels on adirondack chairs or on a branch not so much at a beach laying in the sand but I was able to test this towel because as a filming this I have chinchillas and they take sand baths so I was able to take a little bit of sand and test to see if the sand would stay on the towel, if it would go flying off, what it would do. I was actually kind of shocked the difference between this towel and the other towels that I've used previously. I honestly never knew that I needed a sand repellent towel until now but I don't think I'll go traveling without it anymore. And just like that, I have a guest star again. Um, where was I? So having antimicrobial properties isn't something I'm presently able to test for, for obvious reasons. But what I can say is that other towels that I've used in the past after a couple of uses have started to smell a little bit, even if it's just being used after showering and aired out. But this towel tends to smell a little bit more like the detergent used or like nothing at all, which I can only assume. Mm -hmm. Shh. Which I can only assume means that it's working. Before you judge me for using a towel multiple times before watching it, please keep in mind that sometimes it is extremely difficult to get access to a washing machine, to do a single load, let alone multiple loads of washing. It's almost as difficult as getting a spoon at breakfast. So would I recommend this towel? Absolutely. From what I've experienced, this towel is one of the best I've seen in a long time. 
it does what it says it will but like most gear, it is a little bit more expensive. It's at the time of filming, it's about 50 US dollars or about $60 Australian. So these towels are a little bit expensive, but for me, the comparison of other brands and Evolve makes it worth it for me. Thank you again so much for joining me today. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can leave them down in the comment section below. You can also connect with me across social medias at Autumn Afar on everything. And remember, taking care of yourself is productive. I'll see you next time.